me share the PowerPoint first. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Lin Kachan. I'm the founder and the director of Art Administrator uh, of Man of Wings. Man of Wings is a community band that all our members actually are about 50 years old men. And the reason of the, of the band because of the social lead for the senior men. And our aim actually is uh, to, to promote the senior art and also provide the platform for, the, uh, for, for them to have a loose exchange. Okay, uh, when we talk about the aging, mostly the people will related the age, uh, the aging to a witness or they are very slow, they, they, they have the memory loss or even they think that they are useless. And, but this is, this is the perception that uh, we have observed uh, in the society. That's why for men of Queens, actually, uh, we hope to create a arts platform for the senior uh, community. And also uh, we would like to use this opportunity to change the mindsets of the people. That's why we have three ideas to, uh, to promote. The first uh, is the senior arts. We promote the senior, uh, senior arts. And also we, we promote the idea of the creative agents. And, and also, of course, we are a community band. That's why we also provide, the, uh, we also promote the wind band culture to the society. Um, and also, um, now I will, I will pay a video for you guys. But before I pay the video, I would like to introduce the video first. The video actually is, um, it's, it's the video we, we create to thank you for the musicians that who helped us uh, during the pandemic period uh, of last year. And actually, we, we organized online concert and masterclass forums, interview concert, and uh, with 30 professional musicians. And also, they are from uh, 10 different countries. And the background music, um, the background music actually is um, the live recording from uh, the, the concert uh, last year in Hong Kong City Hall. Uh, this is performed by the Man of Things and the other two uh, community band together. And because last year uh, the pandemic suddenly come, we cancel all the concert and all the rehearsal. And we think that, oh, we, we may have something to do for, the, um, for our band. So we think that, oh, maybe this is a time that we can do the uh, online music event. So we try to contact to the musician, the professional musician. We, we didn't think about it before because we think that they are too busy. And during the pandemic period, oh, maybe this is, this is the time because they may, they may not go to work. And, and they, that's why we, we try to contact them and we share our story and also our mission and visions to them. And they all agree with uh, to help us voluntarily. That's why we come with uh, all the project uh, I will introduce to you later. Yeah, let me share the video first.
just finished the video. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, we just finished the video. Uh, actually, we have done a lot uh, during the pandemic period. And for the like, like the interview uh, with the musician, actually we share their music journeys to our members. And the objective, the, the objective for the, those interview actually is mainly to give our members to insp inspirations in their music journey. Uh, furthermore, and there is the COVID lighting where there is no rehearsal and performance. Uh, were allowed. So that's why we think that uh, the, uh, the encouragement for our members are much needed. And you see this video actually is really important for us. And this, uh, this man, this gentleman actually is a very important uh, and, and very famous international uh, Karenist uh, players. And he spoke on and he and his wife actually uh, give us a grateful uh, videos to agree what we are doing and try to promote our ideas to their personal Facebook. That's why we, this is the first time for us that uh, our idea has been promoted to international level. And also, okay. And also we managed to have the online masterclass uh, for the self, for the self en enhancement during the COVID-19. And we think that music that uh, does not stop during the COVID-19, we may not be able to rehearse and do the ensemble together, but we hope that we can take more uh, positive approach uh, to encourage them, uh, to encourage our members to have a self enhancement during the COVID-19 period. And that's why we have cooperated with uh, different musicians from different region, like in Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, a lot of uh, uh, countries, they conduct the, those musicians, they conduct the masterclass online and share their skill and the musical instruments to our members and just want them to improve their musical skills. Okay, and also we have the uh, online music forums to cater for the uh, region needs. And many of things, actually, we do seven series of music forums with the professional musicians uh, across different like countries. And those series is all conducted in Cantonese and Mandarin. We cater for the local leagues. And when we do the uh, music forums, uh, we have seen so many orchestra or the music group um, is doing the same thing similar as, as us, but all uh, in English or in different languages. So we think that, or oh, maybe we can do something uh, for the long English speaker, particularly for the, the people who speak in Cantonese and Mandarin speaker. Uh, if they, they may not be able to fully benefit uh, in an English forum, that's why we create uh, the, the Cantonese and Mandarin forum for them. So those forums are not limited to our member, but also uh, the people who speak Chinese, they also can come. So we actually, we attract more people uh, from different countries to follow our Facebook and understand what we are doing, like the people from uh, China, from Taiwan, Macau, Singapore, Malaysia as well. Okay. And we also do some social service during the pandemic period. And a lot of our members, they think that social service is very important for them and they can show what they have learned and they can contribute to the society through their music. And this is the project we, we start from a small uh, performance. Uh, we start uh, with a small performance in the Zoom first. During the pandemic period, the elderly people uh, in the nursing home, they can't come out because of the safety reason. That's why the nursing house, they approach us or to seek for our members to do some online music games session with them. And later that, uh, we have an online concert uh, to, to cooperate with the elderly service NGO during the Mooncake Festival. So the concert was forecasted to 17 uh, nursing homes. Through the online concert, actually we 
we reach out around 200 elderly people uh, at the same um, in life. And also in the live uh, podcast on Facebook Live, uh, we managed to reach out about 5,000 fields. So you see, uh, actually we are still doing um, this kind of survey every week, uh, every week, Wednesday. Tuesday, yeah, every Tuesday. So we have two members to pay some uh, OD songs to the to the to the grandmother, yeah. And this is a social worker, yeah. Okay, we also have the uh, virtual concert as a form to team building and the bonding. Um, there are no live performance and rehearsals during the pandemic. So the sense of belonging actually is decreasing in the band. This is what we discover. And because before the pandemic, they meet, uh, they, they go to the rehearsal every week. They meet their fan every week. This is like a routine. But after the pandemic, everything has changed. So therefore, we think that oh, we, we should do something to 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 help to, to change this situation. That's why we we bring everyone together by conducting a virtual concert. The process for the virtual concert um, uh, is actually is helping them to, I mean, helping our members to practice and work together to improve their music skill. And also for the creation and the production of the virtual concert, they, they, they need to help. They, they have to send us the video. Some of the members, they have to rearrange the score and some of the members, they have to, uh, they have to edit the video. They have to do everything by themselves. Yeah. So I, we think that uh, the, virtual, the virtual concert actually is helping them uh, to group together and bond them together. And also the most important thing is that after the virtual concert, uh, the virtual video, has post on Facebook on our Facebook. Our member will share the Facebook uh, the Facebook Facebook page on their personal Facebook, and this is very important that their family and fans can see their trans transformation, and they will and also their family will understand more about what we men of things are doing. Okay, and also we have a. Very meaningful project, we will say. Um, this is a postcard project um, to, to do the communication and the bonding. It's like a bonding tool for them because um, we think that every communication has to through uh, the WhatsApp, the Facebook, the Messenger, the Zoom, because we can't see face to face. We think that uh, we, we lack of the human touch with them. That's why we've we launched a postcard project uh, for them. And our staff have wrote some notes and messages to, to our member and we, we post them a postcard. And I think this is a very good idea that uh, all our member actually is quite happy. And also uh, it's, it's kind of an encouragement for them to continue their, their passion on music. And I will also show you uh, a video for this project.
eight. Yep, uh, this is the video we want to we, we share with our family, uh, with our with our member, and to encourage them to keep practicing and don't give up for their music. Okay. And also, um, given the pandemic period, we also create a, a humor videos to change the perception. For the people that will think that the senior men, uh, they are quite serious, they are stubborn and very difficult to approach. And however, we think that this is not true after we, we, we work with them for a few years and they are just a man like us and they are seasoning with the experience. And regardless of the age, boy will be boys. Yeah. Common, um, the common rehearsal humors are being captured to demonstrate and prove that, that the senior wind band are not any less enjoyable as other youth band and school band. And, and I always share to my fans or the people who knows me, I always say, oh, when I, attend to this band, to Man of Winds, I, I feel like I went back to my secondary school band. The, 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 the feeling is almost the same, actually. Yeah, they are, they are older than me, they are my senior, but, they, but we, we work very close and we play very closely as well. So I, I really enjoy playing with them. Okay, and also uh, during the pandemic period, we also have the community concert and that community concert become a hybrid mood to uh, increase the touch points to the community. We have participated in the community concert in 2020. Yeah. And that concert uh, was performed in Guntong uh, in the open space. And uh, in that venue there are uh, around 100 audience uh, have attended because there is a there was a social distancing and a gathering restriction. Uh, restriction. That's why uh, they don't allow too many people to come in to enjoy the music. But thanks for the technology, we we do it. Uh, we broadcast um, the video at the same time, and we managed to reach close to seven thousand view uh, on the Facebook. Yep, and also we explored a new mode of a model of uh, the concert and because most of the venue, uh, the event venue have uh, remained uh, coasted, uh, coasted to the audience at the times of pandemic and even they allow you to rehearsal but they, they don't allow you to um, have a have audience to go to the venue and the event. That's why at the same time that's why we uh, work with a NGO at the air lab um, the, this is a fine art uh, group and we work with them, we work together with them and explore a new way that uh, to conducting our concert online. And that's why this is our first online concert in collaboration with the fine art group. Uh, we've broadcasted in Hong Kong and Japan. We have, 100, uh, we have 100 filters during the online concert. Yeah. Okay. It's come to the end of my presentation. And at the end, I will share one video for you. And that video actually is a short video clip that uh, we, we recorded um, in the city hall last year. Um, this, uh, I would consider this is a milestone for Men of Winds that we, because we performed the music Sunday Island March, this is uh, composed by the Singapore composer Wong Kai Chung, and this is a commis commission set piece by the uh, Minister of Education in Singapore. The Singapore government they use it uh, in the Singapore Youth Festival as a secondary school band competition. So I will I will think that oh, this means that men of things actually achieve the secondary school band standard, and I would say. Please remember, do not underestimate their ability. They can achieve beyond our expectation. Thank you. Now I will I will share you the video.
Okay, thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.